uh, Nick Rip kind of tinkles off. Yeah, we got in the bathroom. We heard it. I heard it coming. We just had three seconds. It, went, it tore everything on our property. Our house is the only thing left standing. Okay. So everything's down. There's okay. nothing, nothing okay. standing up down here. We're getting our first insight tonight of the seconds that followed Friday's EF1 tornado in Rockingham County. Those were just two of a dozen. 911 calls made from people needing help. Those families were caught in the Twister's eight mile path. It started along Sunset View Road in Wentworth and traveled all the way to Crutchfield Road just northeast of Reedsville. It was 300 yards wide and was reaching wind speeds of 110 miles an hour. Now Fox 8's Daniel Pierce traveled the path of that storm tonight and shows us why families say this is not an easy recovery. In the path of this tornado, you're going to find Salem United Methodist Cemetery Church. The trees behind me, in, even in the dark, you can tell are bent over, but the church has not been touched by this storm. And what you'll find as you drive throughout Rockingham County is not just little signs of faith, but little signs of this community as a whole that's going to get them through this long recovery. Jeremy Lawrence is counting about how many trees he's picked up Monday. 15. 15 full size trees that you couldn't reach around. His farm is called Our Perfect Chaos, and it sits on Sunset View Drive. It is now believed to be the starting point of Friday's tornado. And we got the alert on our phone, and we got up, and then was looking out the window of our room, and you could see fog come straight down to the ground. You could just watch it like a wall of it. This is a call Jeremy's wife made to 911 just seconds after the twister left. Everything on our, everything, our, our barn buildings and everything are gone. Our trees are gone. It is flattled. There is nothing left except for our house. Has anybody we tried? can't see our neighbor's home. I personally have never went through anything like this. So far, they've found their horses, goats, most of their chickens and rabbits. I've got, I got a chainsaws. I don't even know where they're at. They're, the whole chainsaw is gone. I can't find it. I have not left. I have not left here. I've only walked up the road halfway. I hadn't. I hadn't left this property since since it happened. I've been working ever since. I decided to drive the eight mile path of the tornado, starting at Jeremy's farm, up Sunset View Road, lined by bare branches and twisted tree trunks. Three miles away on Robinson Lane, from above you can see tarped houses and splintered trees. The next street over Wentworth Street is much of the same. Piles of trees. Power companies trying to restore power and cars still trapped by the branches. The twister finally lifted around this house and the 100 block of Crutchfield Road, eight miles away from Jeremy's farm. The owner tells Fox 8 she heard the wind and knew it would tear off her gutters and side window screen. What's now left for the families of Rockingham County is cleaning up what they lost and counting what they didn't. How long do you think you're going to be uh, picking stuff up? Years. <laughs> Years. <laughs> you could have an army out here to cut this wood up and you wouldn't get done. You wouldn't get done. It's too much. And it's going to take some families a little bit longer to clean up, including Jeremy's neighbor, who is actually one of about three families that's having to be put up inside a hotel or stay with friends because their house has been condemned by the county due to the damage that it sustained. In Rockingham County, Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News.